so hey guys i'm back and now we will be uh, designing the back end uh, so if you don't know this how i did this uh, i mean how i converted ui into a pi file or python file uh, you can check the i button i will uh, provide the link to a previous video in which i have uh, shown how to convert a dot ui file to a pi file uh, so now we'll be uh, designing the back end so i have arranged the buttons uh, and the uh, other components as you can see i separated out them so here uh, this uh, first line uh, is declaration of a uh, initialization of a push button then this is a uh, setting the size and this is uh, for font means applying this font and then uh, object name and uh, where the on the grid level where the uh, position of the button uh, so now we'll be uh, needing some functions so uh, let me be clear so our uh, let me uh, show you how GL looks now so this is how GL looks so I want that uh, these all buttons are open first uh, first player will be player X and uh, second will be player O when uh, any uh, when uh, if a uh, first uh, first is uh, running and if a uh, player x clicks on this button then this button will be disabled and uh, the text on the button will be changed to x uh, and if the currently uh, playing players uh, text will be there x or o and button will be disabled so that uh, button can't be uh, uh, pressed uh, again and if anyone wins then prompt will come and uh, then okay uh, when uh, user clicks on okay uh, player x or player o uh, anyone that wins uh, their score gets updated and reset button will be uh, will make uh, whole score zero and if a match get draw uh, then no one gets the score so for uh, first we will be uh, making function so that uh, on the initialization of this uh, okay uh, so on uh, clicking any button uh, the button will get disabled so let's make that okay so here we have a class of ui board creating a function here let's name it uh, button click okay um since we are in a class will be given self argument uh, this uh, function will be called when anyone clicks a button so we also going to pass the uh, number of the button position number of the button so that will be an integer so let's also give, have an argument uh, variable uh, pos position so uh, if a button gets clicked that button should be disabled so let's see what are our names uh, so every button have p and b in it and one two three four are position of the buttons so we have to work on that Let, let's just uh, create uh, all the function first and then add some uh, logic into it let's just pass it okay next function we will be needing is a uh, check win i mean if uh, button is clicked and uh, anyone get to a win uh, one uh, then uh, next process should not be uh, done uh, game should be stopped there and score should be updated and board should be uh, resetted again so let's uh, check win only will have a self uh, it don't need any uh, argument I guess because it's just a if condition so if if uh, values of these buttons are equal I mean if 1 5 and 9 are x then x1 if 1 5 and 9 are o then o1 so uh, condition will be like uh, if this button dot value 
is equal to is equal to position uh, this button at position this and this position is equal to this position and this position is equal to this position then pin so we'll be having like a uh, nine condition i guess uh like three verticals three horizontals like six and two uh diagonally so i guess uh, only eight condition will be this so that will be uh in this check win function uh then we will be needing a function so let me guess so oh, button click is done uh win check is done okay so we'll be needing some global variables uh like so variables like a uh, flag so user get changed so we we'll need uh let's create play flag initialize it with x play x is play i guess uh then we will be needing uh score of each player so we'll be a player x score zero player o score zero uh and also we'll be needing a uh, like Mm. let's start with this and then uh, go to later part so let's uh, write uh, some logic into the uh, i mean uh, our functions cre uh, created functions so uh, so let's just have a integer as a flag uh, so it will be easier we will just check it uh, like if it is even then player x and if it is odd then player o uh, so let's let's uh, add some uh, like uh, this function uh, button click function should be uh, called uh, if any button is clicked so let's just add that uh, so where the buttons are starting okay so here is button starting so we will just uh, add cell dot okay so this is pb2 uh if it is clicked then connect and we just pass the function so we will be passing lambda so we can pass argument so lambda uh button dot button click uh, and the position will be uh, since it is a second button position uh, we will pass the uh, integer as a two so we will just copy and paste this function all the buttons so go here okay So now that we have connected the function, uh, let's uh, write some logic in it. Like, uh, let's say uh, we'll call the player flag here. So global player flag. Okay. So if uh, player flag uh mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0 that means uh player x is playing so okay so what we will do that uh, uh then that position should be updated with the say, uh, text uh, x so We'll just call that button self dot p. Okay, so we also need a uh, number of uh, that position. So what we will do is uh, 
like let's just worry about uh, it later just we'll just have to uh like uh let's just uh, st uh, uh go with the function that we are going to use like uh if any button gets pressed uh we will update uh okay pb1 let's say pb1 so pb1 and that function is a uh, set text so okay. so when the button is clicked the uh, text will be since a uh, player um, mode of the play flag uh, of uh, it's zero then player is x so we will update it with x just let's see if uh, x get added or not and uh, we want to disable that button so that again that button can be pressed so pp1 uh, just set enabled Voice it and what we want to do ah, just update uh, play flag. Same we want to do with uh, like player O, just else. If it is odd, then it should be. Okay, I'll just check if this function works or not. So we have some problem, I think. Okay, uh, we have the buttons. If I press any button, the only PB button that is the first position button will get updated. So let's just see if it get updated or no. Uh, name play flag is play flag is not defined. Okay, what we called global play flag so why isn't it defined okay. play flag. it's defined didn't we okay i will just pause here and uh, solve the error so you will get bored uh, so i just uh, that uh, i declare this variable inside the class and i'm calling it using uh, global uh, so i will just put it outside the class we just uh, initialize it here uh, so i can have space problem so just remove it okay so now we can uh, access it so just uh, when I click this, okay, still if you push button on it has no attributes. It's SC text, okay. It is set text. So, um, see again, okay. So it is updating. Like, uh, now the player O's turn was there, so it got updated. So, so we don't want to do that here. Uh, yes, now we will write logic so that uh, the button that is pressed that get updated. So if you uh, notice uh, we have to write like uh, if uh, pause is equal to Z, uh, one then one should be updated pause is equal to two two should be updated so what we will do just uh, declare a we will declare a variable called as a uh, let's call it uh, mark let's initialize it with uh, only nothing and then if uh, play flag mod two is equal to equal to zero then mark should be equal to x and if it is not zero then mark is equal to o o so now just update it we set is equal to mark so we will not be needing this Everything in this is just okay. Okay, so if pause is equal to is equal to one, then we will uh, change the pb one's uh, text. So we'll write here. 
self dot pb1 set is equal to mark pb1 set enabled false and play flag is equal to uh, play plus play flag plus one yes we will just uh, put outside so lines of code will be less okay so we will be needing like this uh eight more so let's So button that is that got press uh, that will be updated. Let's check if it is updating or not. Okay, uh, so one now the O's turn is there. So O should be updated to the button that we will be pressing. Now you can see that O is updating. Now we'll put X here. Mm, I guess O here. X. So now game should be stopped and x should be uh, declared as winner and player x uh, score should be updated but as you can see this game is still going on and this reset button we forget about that so reset button should be uh, when reset button sh uh, is pressed whole board should be uh, what will say like uh, whole but uh, board should be uh, enabled and text should be like blank okay so we'll be needing function for that. Just declare it above this. So def uh, let's let's just name it reset board. So the resetting board should be all the uh, button should be mm -hmm. enabled again and. Uh, yeah and all the buttons uh, text should be like a blank so we will just do that self dot pb1 dot set enabled true and uh, like self dot pb1 dot set text blank we we'll just copy this to and this is so very very serious. We will very easy. Scoreboard is here. Self dot press dot clicked dot connect. Just want to run the reset. Okay, so what did we have it? We reset self dot reset board. Let's just see if it is resetting or not. So we have our let's just add some. And, uh, and then this, okay. So board is being clearing and all buttons are again enabled. So now we want to do is like winning cases. So check win. So here when each button is pressed, then also we have to check so that uh if play is one or not. So we will be and here this self dot check win check win so this function will get called and now we have to write like uh what we will call it oh logic <laughs> sorry about that if self dot pb1 that uh, first button text 
which is called text is equal to is equal to it will start with horizontal so pb2 and if pb2 is equal to pb3 and pb3 is equal to pb1 i think okay so let's just self dot pb2 dot text so pb1 is equal to pb2 and self dot pb2 dot text equal to equal to self dot pb3 dot text then just let's check with if two is enough or not uh just uh if it is then uh like stop the play right and uh like uh the game should be available so uh let's declare a uh, inner variable here so winner is equal to let's say let's uh blank let's just say, keep it blank if this then uh just say winner is equal to anyone's text let's say so if is x is winner then x will be added to winner so we can just then check it with the conditions the winner will be text and then also reset function should be called but we will call it later like yes we'll call it later we we'll just add this i will just fast, fast forward it with all the conditions so and we just can um uh, like uh check with it check with the condition if winner is equal to is equal to uh like x then update score of x right? so self dot score x score plus is equal to one and reset the board so cell dot reset board same with o will be two. o score will be updated and then reset the board else nothing will happen just go on with it so let's just check if it is updating or not so we have the board it's just x okay something is happening pb1 is not defined okay pb1 is not defined on line number 84 line number eight. okay 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 cool self dot pb1 self dot this is pb4 self dot pb7 self dot pb1 again okay. self dot pb2 self dot pb Green self dot pb1 self dot 
Now let's check. So X is updated. Now O's turn is there. So O X O and X. So unsupported operand type for plus equal to Q level and int. So X okay X score okay we have variable name player x and player of x score and uh, o score are the object names so player x player of you Declare it like this. They are global. So player X and player O. But is got updated, but we have to also update it on uh, update it on that or board. So just. Cell dot x score dot text is equal to a string of layer x. Same for o Now let's check. See, we got some big problem. Your board has no attribute name player X. Okay. What we have? We have player X and player O. Declare it with global. So we have to remove this because they are not in the class. String not a problem. Text x code dot x2 in algebra so i think uh q level don't have a text attribute I just have to now okay set text we have to set text so set text sorry for that just, just now Okay, so score is getting updated and board is getting resetted. Oh, so I think we have to like change it a little bit. Uh, just, okay. So, player, player x is equal to a colon plus player. So let's just see string layer. So we have to concatenate it. Concatenate it. Now let's try this. So okay, player x one point. Now let's just player o one point. So it can get updated. So now let's see what happens if still want to talk much cool. 
match is drawn but no anything happens so we also have the draw and if okay reset works scores are still there but scores are still there uh score is not getting updated when match is drawn so yeah we did the we just made made a gr based uh, tic tac toe game so thank you for watching and uh, subscribe to our channel and if you like this video share the video with your friends uh should i do more of the uh, pi qt uh, gui stuff or i should uh, should i do uh, like uh, tick interest stuff so let me know in the comment box so thank you for watching